New here at 5 o'clock, they are precious family heirlooms lost in the mail until that family contacted Focus investigative reporter Paul Vassan. Days after we first showed you what happened, a major surprise as Paula followed up on your side. WHAS was on my side, 100%. Barbara Shields can breathe a sigh of relief. The fact that WHAS and, your, and you, Paula, helped us to get such a speedy um, recovery of these dog tags and a speedy uh, solution to the problem, it, it's just amazing. Last week, she reached out to us after seeing our months long investigation into the U.S. Postal Service. I mailed 284 letters to 71 people to track delivery time. And I thought, you know what? Maybe she can help me in this situation too. Her uncle, Truett Shields, served in the military during World War II. Around his neck, he always wore these military ID tags, also known as dog tags. For decades, they had been missing, but so Shields nice, found them nice. in an old dresser just a few weeks ago. She mailed them to her uncle's daughter in Alabama. It didn't go as planned. She told us last week. The card was ripped open and um, there was nothing in it. What's your goal now? That you, Paula, can help us locate these dog tags. And we did. What was your reaction? <laughs> I screamed out to my husband. I said, Barry, they found them. Oh, don't make me cry. We're going to have to redo that. The Postal Service told us they found these precious family heirlooms three days after our initial story aired on, of all days, Friday the 13th. See, Friday the 13th is a lucky day for us. The pieces of metal that once hung around her father's neck are now in her hands. This is a part of my father, uh, his, his journey. Uh, he wore them in the Philippines. Memories that won't be forgotten and hopefully they'll be passed down to grandchildren. And she said it was just like the best Christmas present ever. Meanwhile, in an email, the U.S. Postal Service tells us in part, as the proud employer of 90,000 military veterans, we certainly appreciate the importance of these dog tags to the Shields family. We sincerely regret the concern and inconvenience this matter has caused. Proper packaging and security are essential when you're sending valuables through the mail. I think they did an excellent job in finding them so fast, but I don't think that it would have been brought to their attention without WHAS and Paula Vassan. We are so thrilled for the Shields family. If you're wondering where their military ID tags were found, the U.S. Postal Service tells us they were in Atlanta, where mail goes that's lost or damaged in transit. They say you can prevent that with proper packaging, and you can find tips on our website, whas11.com. For Focus, I'm Paula Vassan.